CMU simulation software. So this would be the first video about the CMU. Uh, when you open the screen, you've got like, just start with the easiest you would see is the run tab, which is the tab here. So you have the run, the fast forward running the system when you simulate. You have, you could adjust the speed of running and you have the unit if it is time length measure uh, number of people depend on cost so it's be like uh, a pound or uh, currency or just like meter length so so to start with we have the running tab as well as we have uh, the facility which is where we place everything here and we're going to define one at a time later on when you build the first model and the library is the standard library tab those are the one we're going to use later on just to build the model so we have the source which is when you create an entity and the sink when you dispose the entity and once this is done we have the project library which contains the object that become part of your simulation project includes a model entity object Okay, and we have the library section, which is a flow library, which will show the object definition, icon for modeling various flow characteristic, how the flow in the system. Okay, we'll see it in a bit when we design our first model. Uh, in the browse section, we have the navigation panel, so how to navigate within the system. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as well as I need to remind you about the help, which is very convenient when you're planning the model, as well as we have uh, the, um, as well as we have the uh, to do and redo in case you do any mistake. Well, undo and redo in case you have do, done any mistake and you want to undo it. Okay, uh, as well as we have here the. Um, uh, the unit, as we said, which is very convenient. Uh, our object in CMU, what did we do so far? What, what, what is the model? So this is a navigation panel like we're working on. Okay, here is just like an explanation what you could do, but we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna focus on our model to build it. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna explain uh, how to do the source and the sync model and then how to connect them.